to another alarming moment, this one involving Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell appearing to freeze again in front of reporters, appearing unable to answer a question for more than 30 seconds. And so Rachel Scott tonight on Capitol Hill with more on McConnell's condition now. Tonight, new questions about the health of the Senate's top Republican Mitch McConnell after he froze in front of the cameras, seemingly unable to speak for the second time in just over a month. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh, that's uh, <clears throat> Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Benny. Yep. Come with us. The senator ultimately taking a few questions before being led away. Last month, a similar episode on Capitol Hill. McConnell freezing for 20 seconds, unable to finish his sentence. Are you good? Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Anything else you want to say or should I just go back to your office? Do you want to say anything else to the press? McConnell's office telling ABC News in both instances, the senator just felt lightheaded. But concern is growing for the 81-year-old leader who has had a series of health scares this year. A fall in March left him with a concussion and fractured rib. He spent weeks in rehab. Then in July, another fall on an airport jet bridge. And sources tell us that for months, the senator has sometimes used a wheelchair. McConnell's office tells me that he does plan to see a physician before his next event. Leaders on both sides of the aisle wishing him well today. President Biden saying while he disagrees with McConnell politically, he does consider him a good friend. But this is certainly putting a spotlight on the age and the health of leaders on both sides of the aisle, including the front runners in the race for the White House. President Biden is 80. Donald Trump is 77. David. Rachel Scott, live on the Hill. Everyone wishing McConnell well. Rachel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.